Okay, panel is down. See? Empty. Now, this silicone has kept this water tight. All the time this has been up and it's done a great job. And it's made a pretty good glue sticking this bit of polycarbonate on here. This technique has worked quite well. This polycarbonate, as you can see, is not actually too discoloured. It's some good quality polycarbonate. You know, it's professional stuff. It's the stuff that they normally make into that corrugated stuff, but it just hasn't had the corrugations melted into it. But it cuts out too much light and it's got to go. And I will retask it for some other things, you know, it won't be wasted, it won't be wasted. So, do all this time of this holding on, can we do this? It started to go quite easily, but I was just wondering if I could do it on camera. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I thought it was just going to peel off actually, but it looks like it. But you know, it's not going to be difficult. I was really worried about this. I was really worried about removing this stuff at the end. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Get a corner off. It's just... It's just coming off. Let it go. So this is what I was saying about making a video and doing things. I'm not, you know, but you know, you might like to see something. There we go. That's coming off. There we go. Look at that. I'm peeling right off now. And once I get a side off, I should just better peel the bugger off. Look at that go. Really good job. But you can just see like there's the polycarbonate. There's not the polycarbonate. You can imagine what that's doing to the light. And I think when the light hits the panel off the access, it's probably worse. Well okay, we're at the end now what happens? get in the mud and we'll just peel that one across there we go there we go it's free okay quite a lot's been done since this morning I've removed the back of the um, the box here, the junction box. Um, now one thing to note is these panels actually have three different strings of 24 panels each. You've got string one there, string two, string three. Each string with a bypass diode. They're not blocking diodes, they're bypass diodes. That's to stop a string becoming reverse biased if it happened to be shadowed while there's sun on the rest of the panel. Right, so it's probably a good thing you have those, but they are not blocking diodes on these bigger panels. They're not in series with the whole panel, so they won't stop a battery discharging into it at night. And what I found this morning, while there was some good light, is that the string here is healthy, the string here was moderate, and the string here was quite bad. So, I've done some digging around, and this gets quite brutal. You've just got to take a Stanley knife, Something like this and just grrr into it, you know. Who cares, eh? It's a damaged panel anyway. You got, you got nothing to lose, really, you know. So, there we go. There is what I've found. This is string two here. That's string three. String one is down here. There was one bad there. Three bad up here. I can't really show you what that relates to but maybe when I do a video after the painting I'll point that out but what you do 
as you simply bear the tabbing wires and so what we're doing is we're going from the positive of the of the next good one and we're it appears that we're connecting it to the positive of the bad one we are but that's really also connected to the negative of the next good one you see so we're still going positive negative and that's how you do it you just run a bypass this one here I'm going to bypass three so you know I'll show a bit of it once I've got the solder on it's the easiest thing in the world to solder to those tabbing wires I've already turned so that's what I'm going to do and that should bring up this panel quite a bit okay there we go I've done the first coat of clear coat, clear plastic spray acrylic, whatever a couple of wee runs there but that won't make any difference at all I'll probably end up putting some thick black insulation tape over the dud cells because they really don't need to operate at all since they're now bypassed I wonder what Kirchhoff would say about that here's the bypasses I'm going to obviously put some silicone over these joins but you know you got to make sure you scrape away all the plastic on those tabbing wires because once you do they, they turn up real easily and you can just solder wires on these are solid as so you can see the basically the procedure you just run past a bad cell so that's basically connecting the positive of this good cell to the positive of this bad cell which is effectively the negative of this next good cell you see there interestingly is a little short circuit between this bad cell and back through the wires which hasn't really come to anything in the other one we'd have to see what Kirchhoff would say about that you try and mock it up in your head with say a 1.5 volt battery shorted out in series with a load from a 12 volt battery all sorts of crazy things seem to run through your mind but not much comes of it so there we go that's how you run a bypass I mean if you ever get in the situation you might be lucky enough to pick up a panel which is just shattered but not punctured and not damaged like this and then then you'd be away laughing if you get it for a good price just a clear coat and up it goes no problem at all should work for years I'm gonna do two coats this is the first coat and I'll do one more coat and there we go Slater poisonous ball but there we go it's coming along nicely slap some silicone over that and we'll just about be done